Hey guys, are you looking a way to look at all your computer speeds and temps? Then I got the perfect device for you to check out. Stay tuned to find out. Alright guys, my name is Junior and I'm here bringing you another great video to the channel. So if this is your first time here, make sure you like all my videos, comment all my videos, and go ahead and hit the subscribe button, enable bell notification, so you get notified every time we drop great videos like this one, or whenever we go live. Cause trust me guys, you never ever want to miss out. And to my return subscribers, you've done already the subscribe part and notification, that's why you're here watching this video. And might as well go ahead and continue supporting the channel by liking all my videos, sharing my videos, and commenting on all my videos because that does help my channel get more exposed and get more people to see the stuff we talk about on this channel so they don't miss a thing, guys. Just like you're not missing it, I don't want anybody else to miss out on great stuff that I talk about on this channel. All right, guys, so like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I got a great device that lets you monitor all your speeds and temps on your whole computer, and it's awesome. You guys know a lot of people, when they want to monitor their speeds and temps, of the PC's performance, you always gotta put like some kind of device or software on the screen so you can go ahead and monitor it. Or in my case, I do have the NZXT Kraken AIO right there that lets you monitor the GPU temps and the CPU temps. But that's it, I can't monitor anything else but just two, two things. Or I can put my logo on there like I have right now. You guys seen it before, I'm not gonna bring the camera there and show you again. You guys know what it looks like. A lot of people ask questions about it. I let you know what they do. And it's pretty cool. You could you could do it on there. But what about you could have a little device, like a little screen like this part this big, and put it in front of you so you can monitor it at all times. Or in my case, I have a clear glass case right here. I can mount it right inside there so I can display it there. I got a perfect device for you to check out because all you need to do is have a USB port open and it does everything for you. You don't need to have no HDMI cable. You don't need to have no uh, power cable. It's all through a USB powered and connected. That's it. You can either put it inside the screen, but it does come with a mount that you can display it right in front of you, right here. So, so that's what I'm gonna do first is to show you when I, when I open it and everything, I'm gonna put it right here on the front of you and then I'm gonna show you what how it looks while we're looking at it, all right? And it's very easy to use. So the people at Wow Nova sent me the device. This is the box, it's very simple with their logo right here, nothing on the sides or anything. And I'm very privileged to have the chance to review this because this is a device that I definitely could use for myself and I know a lot of you out there will be able to use it. So they did send me this device and they're not reviewing this video or telling me what to say, this is gonna be a full, honest review like I always do for you guys. So they have no what's in say what I say. If I feel this is a bad product, this is a bad product. But if it's a good product, it's a good product. So we're gonna do the unboxing right now. And like I said, I'm gonna put it here in front of my keyboard and show you what it looks like. And we'll take it from there, all right? So this is the, the box right here. Like I said, there's nothing wrong. It just says they're coming here, Wild Nova. And it says, made make a change on the bottom let me show you right there so that's what it says that make a change and it says wild nova on the top very very simple so we open it up so once you open it up guys you get the user manual right here very simple user manual so i think it's a one page thing right here uh if you want to download the app right there's the qr code and you can download the app there gives you pre pretty much a bunch of stuff here that you can read um, here they what the, was this paper here? Oh, just dropped it. Sorry. So right here is a uh, okay. So here's another way how to get started. Full instructions right here. Uh, if I need, it, I'll go into that, but I don't think I'm gonna need it. And of course, when you open it up more, you have the USB cable right here. It uses USB C connection on the device, but you connect the USB A on your computer. So. Even if you don't have an up-to-date computer that has a USB-C port, you're fine with it. I'm probably gonna do USB-C to USB-C because I do have that kind of cables laying around, so I might use that instead of this one because it'll just be faster in my opinion. And this is all real-time clocks. It's not a delay by any means necessary. This is all real-time according to them and their website. So we'll check out and see how it is, all right? I'm gonna put the cable there. Right here, they give you a stand. It's very simple. It looks like a 3D printed stand. Or maybe not. It could be, I don't know. It's a very simple stand. Not, not much to go over. I'm just gonna open it real quick. 
All right, here we go. I was having trouble opening it. And here's the stand. Oh. So the stand is pretty small because it's not a big device. Like I said, it's a very small device. I think it's a three and a half inch screen, but it gives you all the attempts that you need. Very nice little stand right here that you can put this, this monitor on if you want to do it this way. And now, right here protected is the monitor. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and open this up real quick. Yep. So, like I mentioned, it is a very small monitor. As you look at it right there, guys, it's very, very small, not big at all. So there's nothing on either side. So it gives you two places to put the USB-C port on the top in case you want to stand it up like this or on the side here so you can mount it like this. So if I want, I can mount it anywhere on here if I want to run, check on my temps. I might put it on the inside, on that side, because I can run the cable that way and then just run into the back and I'll be fine. But that's all it is, guys. So if I want to put it on the stand, all I got to do is put it on the stand here and that's it. That's that's my mount right here. Look at that. I'm just holding it like this because it's in my hand. But now, let's go ahead and hook it up and then connect it to my computer. All right, so I'm gonna bring the camera over here. I'm not even gonna turn on the computer. I, I'm gonna turn on the computer because I'm gonna use some stuff around it. But you're gonna see just the camera facing on the, on the screen itself. All right, so give me a second and we'll get that set up. All right, guys, so we're here on my computer. As you see right above me, I have my other camera, which is the Elgato face cam, looking at the monitor, because it'll be easier instead of me recording the video like this, so you can see, because I got to do stuff on the computer to get that working properly. I uh, I am going to go off the instructions that we have here, because it's, a, it's a easier if I just do it, it'll be faster, if I just do it instead of guessing what I'm doing. So first thing it tells me to do is go open up a web browser to download a software. All right, so we're going to open up the web browser that I have here. I open it up here, so now I'm gonna go ahead and enter the URL, which is a bit URL. Okay, so I'm gonna go and type the URL here. So that's URL is bit.il37v0wcs, all caps. I'm hoping that's a zero, because it looks like a zero, but it might be all, but we'll find out. All right, so it does take me to a Google Drive, um, right here are the instructions that I'm reading off the screen right here. This is a video orientation how to do it. And these are the two software it tells me to download. All right, so. Okay, the no, the switch between capital letters and the lowercase letters. That's for the URL, that's fine. Okay, so now it tells me to get the wild guy JPEG. Okay, so this, I think is this one right here. Uh, let me see which file, let me see, maybe it's this one. So this is the file I need to download. Okay. I'm, I'm assuming this is a three and a half inch. Okay. This is all the information I need. So I'm gonna go ahead and download that folder. All right. Go ahead and download this one now. Where are you? Where's my download? Okay. All right. So let that download, download anyways. All right. And as you see it downloading, uh, well, you can't see it cause it's behind the, the face cam. We're gonna open it up. It is a zip file, so I'm gonna go ahead and open. I'm gonna close this down because I don't think I'm gonna need this anymore. I'm gonna move the folder right here. Uh, I'm assuming it might. Okay, there's two of them. Okay, and I think this is the one I need. But anyways, we'll go ahead and do use this one. Open this folder up. I'm gonna get it all here. From here, it tells me to go ahead. And I, this is the guide, this one right here, the guide right here, this is the guide as a picture. So if I open this up, oh, oh, wrong thing. I opened up the wrong file, <laughs> I grabbed the wrong file. So here's gonna show me everything I need to do, how to manage everything, how to read everything. Okay, and you just go through everything and, and start doing it, all right? Uh, let's see what else they got here, what other pictures they got here. They give you all types of, Themes, how to change the themes if you want to go vertical or horizontal, up to you. But I got themes for both of them. So once I do that, all right. So please read, blah, blah, blah. And now I'm going to have to go to USB monitor execute right here. This file right here is going to install the software for the thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I got to do it as an admin. I forgot. Yeah, okay. Run as an admin. 
because the dust is in right here we're in the admin so here it is okay so this is the theme that i have on here now but if i want to change it i can go to the other one so this is for the oh, okay so this is all horizontal so look at all the different teams they have here you don't have to really do too much to it look at all this guys this is vertical there's a a gundam one uh, but you know what i do like the cyberpunk one Ah oh, man i wish they had a vertical one uh let's take a look at other ones they got a d space here magic blue that one's pretty cool uh but i don't have a ryzen I, i'm intel so this is i am not gonna want this for myself all right um which one did i just pick a oh, magic blue let's see simple purple yeah you got that it's in chinese letters uh chinese letters again technology okay that's a pretty decent one i, I like that gives me the temps the clock speed for the cpu gpu again with the temps the clock speed the ram tells me how much ram i'm using hard drive that's the one thing i did like what this does it tells you how much hard drive space you have you gotta pick the drive you want to use of course it'll go to the your default drive with c so it tells you how much percentage is full how much you got left it tells you i think this is the speed of the hard drive that's going and one thing that I like on this that I didn't see this before, I saw it when I got the device on like the preview of the device online. It tells you your network speed, it tells you how fast is your download and upload speed current time. So you don't have to go to another website like um, Speed Test, Lily, all those things. You don't have to go to any of those apps or website. You can just look at it right here. And of course, it gives you, it gives you the option to, for time and date, which is pretty cool. I like that all right um let's see let's see what else they have so that landscape one i like uh, this is the same thing but in, in chinese i'm not gonna want that uh, i really wish they had the cyberpunk in um uh, this is magic blue horizontal so anything that doesn't say landscape is horizontal except for the gundam oh i like this one if i wasn't if i had um Asus, then I would really get this one. This is a really nice one. I like that. All right. So, you know what? I'm going to go ahead just for, for now. I'm going to go ahead and run the Cyberpunk one. So, I'm going to flip the screen over. As you can see, I'm flipping it over. I'm going to have to push it back a little bit more so you can see the whole thing. Or even just tilt it up. There you go. That's the whole screen. Because I, I like that Cyberpunk. All right. So, oh, the only thing I don't like, it has Chinese letters down here for something. So for here, for this one, you see that the up here gives you the the speed for your CPU, your GPU, which I don't know why. It's, oh, that's just the display. I'm like, wait, I don't have a, a 3060. <laughs> uh, it tells you what kind of GPU and CPU you're running. It tells you the speed and the temperature. So that's a good thing. Temperatures are here. The speed's here, and how much percentage of the whole thing is using so that's good i like the cyberpunk one for that uh again it tells you your your internet connection right here download and upload speed forget what this was and it gives you the time and date what was the other one i forgot the other one but whatever it doesn't matter so i'm gonna go ahead run i think that's what you gotta do okay so once you hit run it takes a few seconds for it to upload we'll see oh wait there you go oh i have it upside down but look Oh, look how I have it up there because the plug's up here, so can't really up. But that's really, really awesome. Look at that, guys. And it's real time. So, the one thing I do not see it running is not. Oh, see, now I got the allow access. All right. Is it? I don't see the internet speed going, but it's running everything else. Let's go ahead and switch it over to a landscape one. Okay, I'm going to hit stop. So, so basically you run this program in the background. If you hit stop, it stops running on here. As you see, there's nothing moving on the screen. So we're gonna go ahead and pick another one. All right, um, let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and go with the one that I liked before. The, I think it was Magic Blue. No, it wasn't Magic Blue, it was the other one. Uh, let's take a look at which one, Deep Space, no. Technology. Yeah, this is the one that I like that I was like, okay, I'm okay with this one. All right, so let's go ahead. And if you did want to change the background, you can go right here, go to background settings. 
and you can change it to whatever you want. You, if you have a picture, you might be able to change it to a different picture. So we're gonna go ahead and run this one and see how it looks. Oh, and it's on the correct side that I want it. And boom, there you go, guys. Look how cool that is. If you really can't see it there, let me go ahead and, and supersize the, the screen so you can see it better. All right, so there you go, okay. Okay, there you go. So now, now you're able to see it. And it's exactly what's showing on my screen. It's showing on there. But that has the real time for my specs and everything. I know with the camera, it doesn't look so good. But it is crystal clear, guys. It is crystal, crystal clear. It's really by temps perfect. And I like it. Man. I really like it. It's a small device. You can put it anywhere in your computer and let it run. So this is something that I'm going to end up keeping and using it for a very long time because I do like this display. All right, guys, so we just saw everything, how everything works, how to install it. It's very simple. Um, there's more stuff you want to re-on it. You can change it to whatever you want. Um, the only thing I did not too like it too much, I think you have to have the software open the whole time. Let me see if I just hit close. Does it stop? Okay, so if I exit out, it still runs in the background. So my temperatures and everything still running. As you can see, I closed the background. So I hit the little X and I close out the software and it still runs. So that's a good thing that still runs. So you don't have to have the software open. That's awesome. I like it. So now let me go ahead and get my final thoughts on this device. Let me go and raise myself up so you can see what I'm talking about now. <laughs> All right. Because I know you guys don't want to see me so small and seeing what's going on back there like that. So in my side of the device, absolutely. This device works exactly what it says it works. Um, the only thing I wasn't able to figure out was the network connection, but that's something that I'm probably going to be in this little handy, handy little instruction form there. I go from there. I show you how to get the software. So they give you all this information right here, guys, when you buy the device, so you'll get everything. And as you saw, they have the same layout. The sheet right here that I just showed you, they have the same one on the website. So if you only got the website from my from my video, then you can just go there and download the software and then you're all set, guys, because I think this is an awesome, awesome device and it works great. It does everything I need to do. Gives you all the all your stuff on your screen. The only thing it doesn't give you is your FPS reading. That's the only thing that it doesn't do. But other than that, I think this device is a great, awesome device and it's very, very budget friendly, guys. It is super budget friendly. It's only 40 bucks for that little device for all that stuff it does. It's only 40 bucks, 39.99. I just round it up a penny. 40 bucks, guys. I mean, I'm happy. But if I had to pay for it, I would buy it because it's it's worth it. The only downside I have on it, I wish they had they made a, a larger model so I could put it like on a big screen right here. That'd be awesome if I could get a bigger model. But of course, it'll cost more if you get a bigger monitor for it. But other than that, I'm very satisfied. I'm very happy with what it does. It does everything. It's very quick. It's very crystal clear and everything, guys. So I am satisfied. I'm, you got one happy customer. Thank you, Wow Nova, for sending me this product to review for you guys. I'm really impressed. I'll leave a link in the description down below so you can buy it if you're interested. All you have to do is go on. It is not off of Amazon, so it's a trusted, reliable source. I ordered it. I got it within a couple of days. It was really fast. If you have prime shipping, even even faster. I don't have prime shipping. I don't pay the extra money for prime shipping. I don't. I can wait a little bit longer. <laughs> you know. So if I want something right away, I just go to the store and buy it. I don't need it that quick. Most of the time, they ship it faster anyway. But anyways, guys, that's it for today's video. I do really hope you guys enjoyed this review and this unboxing. I, I'm very, like I said, I'm very satisfied. If you did enjoy this video and everything I had to show, go ahead and give me a big old thumbs up. Show me all the love and support that you guys love to show the channel. Don't forget to hit that share button because sharing is caring. And we want to make sure everyone's aware of everything we talk about on this channel so they don't miss a thing just like you don't miss a thing. And also, guys, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, put them in the comment box down below. I'll get to you as soon as I can, when I can, as fast as I can. And also, guys, if you still haven't done this at the end of this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and enable bell notification so you get notified every time we drop great videos like this one or whenever we go live. Because trust me, guys, you never ever want to miss out. And that's it, guys, for today. Until next time, I'm signing out. Peace.